Welcome to AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for Land Surveyors, brought to you by EricColburn.com, Professional Land Surveyor Source. This video, AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 Parcel Copy and Merge Part 2, builds upon Part 1 where we created parcels. The objectives of this video are to take the parcels we created in Part 1 and copy those parcels to another site then we will merge the two parcels. I want one parcel that is the combination of lot one and parcel A to represent the new final boundaries for lot one. So in the, pro in the tool space I'm going to expand the site existing and parcel lot one right click on it and select copy to site this is a handy handy little feature you can if you find that you create a parcel in the wrong site very easy to move it or copy it to a new site if you want to make a, a, a backup alternate plan you can copy uh, parcels to a new site play around with it get it to do the things you're trying to do in your design without affecting the original parcels I'm going to select copy to site and there's only one lot here so it automatically selected lot one if there are more lots you can pick and choose what you like and then it tells you up at the top of this copy to site screen the destination site so I want this to end up in the revised site click the down arrow select revised and it's as simple as that select OK and if I expand the revised site you'll see I have a complete copy of lot one in a new site. Now I'm going to expand the merger site parcel A and I'm going to copy that over to the revised site. So again right click on it select copy to site it's automatically selected parcel A it was the only parcel in that site. I'm going to move it to revised select OK and you can see that now lot 1 and parcel A are now in the revised site. Because these multiple parcels are on top of each other now there are two parcel A's and two lot 1's uh, right on top of each other they're in different sites but it becomes very hard to do the next step which is merging lot 1 and parcel A in the revised site into one common lot unless you can be sure what you're selecting. So what I've done is I've created a parcel style that basically uh, turns off that parcel so the lines don't show, the labeling doesn't show. So on the existing site I'm going to right click on lot 1 select properties and on the object style for property I'm going to change that to I've created the style off where it turns off the lines hit apply and then on the merger site parcel A right click on that select properties same thing object style I'm going to select off So it doesn't look like much because all the line colors uh, and the labels were right over each other, but it has actually turned off the existing site lot one, which I'm going to minimize now in the tool space. Uh, it has turned off the lines and the label for parcel A in the merger site, leaving what's called lot one in parcel A on and showing uh, in the revised site. Another option would have been to change the names of lot one and parcel A. So when you go to do this next uh, command you can make sure that you're selecting the right parcels. Uh, so at this step I'm going to merge the two parcels to create one big overall parcel of the new revised lot one. Again on the ribbon at the top top of my screen may not be at the top of your screen wherever you keep it. I'm going to select 
on the home tab parcel and select the parcel creation tools which opens up parcel layout tools and there are many commands along the top but if you select the tab that I'm pointing to right now and select parcel union it's going to ask you to select the destination parcel so I, I want this to end up into lot one on the revised site and then select the parcels click exit and you'll see it, it's done that it, it, it took what was in the revised site parcel A and it's added it into lot one which we can look at all the labels for area when it's done but it's 147 acres and if you go back to the tool space and you refresh the parcel by right clicking on let me do that again you go to your sites I've already expanded the revised site and it shows parcel and you'll see there's a little box with hatch marks in it meaning that you know, the program's telling you you need to refresh that parcel to show what changes were made. So you right click on it while it's highlighted. At the bottom is refresh. And you'll see. Now, before there was lot one and parcel A, but by putting them into one parcel, it's now lot one, which I'm going to right click on, select properties and rename it revised lot one this AutoCAD Civil 3D 2010 for land surveyors video has been brought to you by ericcolburn.com the professional land surveyor source